With some old winter gloves, foam, and paint, you can make yourself the master of the universe, or at least the master of the Halloween heist. For the rest of the supplies, check the description below. Now let's get cracking on these gauntlets. The first thing you have to do is find a glove that the foam will stick to. It has to have a two-way or four-way stretch and be able to hold the glue without it soaking through. Next, you'll need a template. Since I'm making my own custom Infinitude Gobbler from Brooklyn Nine-Nine, I took a screenshot and resized it to my own glove. You can do the same with a screenshot of Thanos' Infinity Gauntlet too. Cut out the pieces and check the placing for them on your glove. The fingers are just rounded squares, but I made my knuckle and thumb pieces slightly larger than the rest. Trace and cut out all of your finger pieces on 4mm EVA foam. We'll need to make prominent beveled edges later, so a thicker foam is needed. If you want to add a little depth to where the stones are, you can also cut out three oval rings from the 4mm EVA foam. For the rest of the pieces, trace and cut them out on 2mm EVA foam. Next, we're going to sand everything with a Dremel. Sanding always gives your pieces a smoother finish. To round the edges, take your foam piece and sand it at a 90 degree angle. With the finger pieces, start at the edge and gradually sand towards the center. You basically want to make a slightly steep and short edge. Before we prep everything for painting, use barred cement glue to put together the pieces for the back of the hand. Then, spray on two coats of Plasti Dip on both sides of your pieces. It helps harden the foam so that the paint doesn't get absorbed into it. After all the pieces are dry, we'll need to paint one layer of metallic gold acrylic paint to both sides. We're going to spray paint later, but this is to make sure we don't miss any spots that the spray paint might not reach. Next, we'll need to glue the pieces onto the glove. I like to use a little piece of foam to apply the barge cement glue. Put a thin layer of glue on the piece itself and where it'll be sticking to. Then, use a hairdryer or heat gun to semi-dry the glue. Attach all of your pieces to the glove. Now, we can finally paint our entire glove with rust gold metallic spray paint. Spray on one coat, and then wait 10 minutes to spray on the next. It'll fully dry in an hour. After that, we'll need to seal the paint. I usually use some Pledge Floor Cleaner, but you can also use a clear coat spray that works with rust -Oleum. Either way, put on one coat of sealer, and then let it dry for an hour or so. Of course, this glove is still missing its most essential pieces, our powerful Infinity Stones. I found some nice gemstones from Recollections and Creatology that fit into the ovals. Even though the gemstones I used were peel and stick, I used barge cement glue to give it some extra adhesion. And then you're ready to dominate the universe or claim victory in the ultimate detective challenge. In the comments below, let us know how your gauntlets turned out and what other cosplays you'd like to see. If this video helped, please give us a like. And if you're looking for more cosplay how-tos or to learn something new and entirely different, be sure to check out our how-to hub and subscribe. Your next project might be right here. Well, I had to get to some world domination stuff, so I'll catch you guys later.